time. The Spanish were using chains and everything. Even things where ropes were better, they would use chains instead because they insisted we invented them, they ought to be better. So, chains were a big deal. Now, as well as all the, the chains, locks, nails, hooks, there was one thing that a blacksmith in a store like this in the Spanish colony was not legally allowed to make. And that was weaponry. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking, especially you gentlemen. And no, this is not a weapon. One could use this to cleave a skull in twain, if one so wished, but of course that's not what it's meant for. <laughs> it's meant for chopping wood, but, but, but it ain't gonna do nobody no good if it's this dull. So we're gonna sharpen it right here on our little grindstone. Let's get this grindstone up to speed. Anybody got any questions so far? <laughs> oh. Alright. Now that this is a little sharper, at least sharp enough for me to do my trick, sir, will you just lean back a little bit? And here we go. <laughs> now I ain't gonna throw it. You thought he's gonna throw it? <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> but I will do a trick. Would you all like to see a trick? Yes. yes. All right, fine. Oh, should be darned. Here we go. Huh? Opa! Hey! Opa! Circus Ole! Hey! One more time. Up and under the leg and into the wall. Ta da! Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, I know y'all didn't come here to see me throw axes. You came here to see me play with fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, in that case, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if I'm going to play with fire, I might want to tie my hair up. <laughs> now, if we're going to be playing with fire, of course, I'm going to need to don my safety gear. Woo. One singular leather glove and open-toed shoes. There we go. Safety. <laughs> Now this shush, is red hot black iron. Now they call it black iron because, well, it's black and it's iron. And well, that's where we get the term blacksmithing from, from the iron we used to work with. And from the term smith comes from the word smite, to smack something with a hammer. Now down here where it wasn't in the fire, I can't rightly bend it. But, but up here where it was in the fire, ooh, it bends like taffy. Now I can turn this into anything I want, folks. Heck, I can make this into something very handy to have aboard a pirate ship. A hook. <laughs> handy hook. Now, because I am a master blacksmith, if I want this to be a nice flat piece of metal, why, all I got to do is bend it back into shape, and I will once again have a perfectly flat piece of metal. All right, well, not quite, but I can fix that. All I need to do to fix that is take my little hammer right here, take my anvil, put this between the two, let's see what happens. Now, something you may be noticing is whenever I hit the, an uh, the anvil, the hammer bounces. When I hit the metal, it doesn't. Now to keep a lot of energy out of my wrist, to save my wrist a whole lot, I do both. And then you get a good rhythm going. You'll have a nice flat piece of metal, there you go. But as you can see folks, it's not red hot anymore. Do you still think it's hot? Yes. Well, let's find out. We got a bucket of water right here. Let's see how hot it really is. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Let's, uh, let's put that back in the fire. Maybe let that heat up a little bit more. Thankfully, though, I was smart, and I have planned to hit, and I already have another iron in the fire. But you don't want too many irons in the fire, folks. 
because then you might get confused on what you're working with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little bit of beeswax and I'm going to put it on the metal. <laughs> now beeswax, I'm sure you're all curious. Why is he using beeswax? Well, you see the metal itself is rather porous. It's got lots of holes in it. Now if water gets in these holes, it just starts to rust the metal. So instead, we put beeswax on there. Now of course, we wouldn't want to put too much beeswax because, well, too much beeswax could set the metal on fire. And it'd be very bad if the metal set on fire, it could set the whole building on fire. So you leave this to the professionals who know what they're doing and won't set the metal on fire. Any comments, questions, statements, concerns? It's on fire. What's that? It's on fire. You gotta speak up. I fire a cannon four times. It's on a day. fire. What? Ah! 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 Oh. Phew. That. Descriptive. Now. <laughs> because I've dipped this in the water, it should be cold enough to touch. Would you like to touch it? No. <laughs> How about you, sir? Would you care to touch No. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. No. Do you think I should? Yes. No. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll do anything to please an audience. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Aha! <laughs> you see where the water touched it, folks? It's nice and cold, but where the water didn't touch it, it is so hot, you might be able to still hear it sizzle. There it goes. For those of you in the back, it went <laughs> Yeah, because I've dipped it in the water, it's what we call tempered. To temper the metal is to cool it down very quickly. Make it nice and solid like this lock right here, or perhaps cool it down very slowly, make it a bit more flexible, like this chain right here. Now, does anybody got any questions before we continue on with our tour? All right. In that case, let me put a little bit more coal on the fire. 